Hey guys, so as usual, Layla is right here and um, she's just not gonna let me film without holding her, but ignore her and listen to what I have to say. So basically, I wasn't even going to film this video. I am not the type to be a sore loser. I have done piano competitions in my life. I've tried out for the Miss New Jersey USA. I've done different things where um, I've either won or I haven't won. And I just know I'm the type who won't give up. I'll just keep going after what I want until I get it. So I'm not the type to um, get upset over not getting what I want. So basically, I have been doing the NYX Face Awards since, or trying to get into the NYX Face Awards since 2012 when they first did it. They did it in 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2015, which is this year. Now, in 2012, I submitted this video right here. You guys probably haven't seen it. It doesn't have that many views, but I submitted that one. And I also submitted this video in 2013. And that was my Pocahontas video. And then in 2014, I did that flower video. And then 2015, of course, is the one that you guys saw right before this video. And that was the saw video. So basically, I submitted those for the four years that NYX has been going on with their competition. And um, the last one I submitted was the saw. I submitted that the deadline was Friday. I submitted it Wednesday night. And I believe it is Wednesday night I submitted it. It was either Wednesday night or Thursday morning. And I took, after I submitted it, I took a screenshot of the whole page. I don't know why I did that. Maybe I thought I would show you guys if I won just to show that I submitted it. But I took a screenshot showing that I submitted it. And I'm going to show you guys the screenshot as well. So after I submitted it, I did the process of letting you guys know, putting it on my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, all about the Knicks, letting them everyone know about the Knicks Face Awards. And I feel as if that was free promotion because I wanted to get into a contest with NYX and that is just basically what everyone was doing giving out free promotions of this company. So basically Saturday, Sunday when the competition ended, even Monday before they announced it, I was a nervous wreck. I kept asking my sisters, my family if they thought my video was fine, you know, I just really wanted to show my talents and just have a shot of getting into this competition. Even let me rewind a little. Even before I even put up this video, I did the process of actually thinking about what I wanted to do, buying the um products I needed for it, even putting in the time I used for videoing, like the whole video of it as well as editing it. All together I have probably spent about three weeks alone working on this video, let alone the year before, um, I'd say about a week. And then the print, the Pocahontas one, that was about a week as well. I had to even buy the costume to do the video for that. So the second year I wouldn't even into the process of buying that costume. It cost me about, I'd say about $60 I think that costume was along with everything else it might have came up to a hundred dollars I put into that one video alone. So fast forward Friday Saturday Sunday. I was a nervous wreck Sun uh, Monday. I was literally like So stressed out. I would not answer the phone for anyone because I was waiting for Nick's to call Sorry, I had to put her down for a minute. But yes, yeah, so come Monday. I was a nervous wreck um so on Monday, they announced the winners and they put up the top 30 and I wasn't in it, which was completely fine with me. Yes, I was a little disappointed. Yes, I did not cry, but I did like feel like so discouraged, but I didn't cry. I remember I didn't cry. I did cry um, the year after the Pocahontas one, but that's just because you put in so much work and you just want someone to acknowledge what you've done. And then um, when you're not picked, you feel really bad because it is a lot of work doing these videos. Tuesday, I called my mom and I was talking to her about it and she had asked me if I had went, like had won or whatever and I told her I didn't. But I did tell her that I hadn't given up. I wasn't going to give up. You know, this is something that I'm going to keep trying for. And I said, either Nyx is going to get tired of seeing my face because this is something that I'm going to apply for until I win or I'm just going to not do it until they can't, you know, like have another contest or whatever. I'm just going to keep going until I'm done with either YouTube or Nyx is tired of seeing my face and I get in. So she told me, yeah, that's how the way to do it. You know, just persevere, keep going, don't give up. And that's something that my mom has always instilled in all of her kids and I have that in me. I just don't get, just, I get, I can get a little discouraged, I can get a little sad, but I don't rant or feel like, why didn't you pick me, blah, blah, blah. It's not because, you know, I wasn't good enough, I just know I gotta keep going until I can get in. So I, that's how it was with me, I was completely fine with that. So then I decided to look on Nyx's um, 
Instagram and they had put up a picture of the top 30 and underneath it they had said that they had looked at all of our entries and they said they were all amazing and something like that. So it was fine with me. And then I started reading the people's comments and I noticed this one girl had said, how can you look at someone's entry when you've only looked at my video for six seconds? And I'm like, well, how does she know that they only looked at her video for six seconds? So I asked her about it and she said, um, I believe this is how you say the word, but you have to go through your Google Analytics. And I'll show you after this video if you guys are interested, if you have applied as well, you want to see if um, Nix has looked at your video. So anyways, I went in through mine. I went all the way through and I realized the only page other than YouTube who has looked at my channel for this video was Google. So Nix has not looked at my video for this year. And I was like, well that's weird because they said they looked at all of them. Sorry, she's screaming. So I went through to my video of flower one as well. And the only other than YouTube, the only other websites that have looked at my channel video was um, beautylish.com as well as I believe it was like Google Plus. So you would have to have uh, been like uh, in my circle or whatever from Google Plus to actually get to my video. The same thing was for Pocahontas as well. The only video out of those four years of entering that Nix has looked at was the very first video. And it wasn't even for the entire length, which is fine. You've got thousands of videos to look through, but that was the only video they looked at. I've applied four years and they've only looked at one of my videos. That really pissed me off because honestly, I have two kids. I don't have time to be sitting around doing a video for anybody. I have kids yelling right now. And, yet, and still, they they wasted my time basically that's how it is I feel like they wasted my time they I did free promotion for them and they gave me nothing in return not even a second of my video was watched like I don't understand how anyone can put a contest out there for thousands of youtubers and not even bother to look at some of the videos if you are going to show a, and be fair to everyone because there are so many videos, so many subscribers, like different counts. You have to be fair to everyone. Not just the people with 200 plus subscribers or even 50,000 plus subscribers. You have to be fair to everyone. I don't care if you have 5,000 videos that are sent to you. You don't have to look at every single second of that video, but at least bother to look at one second of it. And the fact that for three years out of the four that I've applied they haven't even bothered to look at is very discouraging and it's really disappointing in Nix's part. Like, it's very disappointing. So, I feel, and I don't want to say this in like a negative way, but I feel like the only legit year for Nix um, Face Awards would have been the first because they weren't aware of the other things going on in YouTube, the um, large subscriber amount. The one person who did one win was Sharice or whatever, and I believe she had less than a thousand when she applied. You know, then it was more of a variety. Now it's more of a popularity contest. And I feel like they're only choosing so many subscribers because they, so many, you know, people with higher subscribers because they know that they're going to reach out to more people than the people that are trying but don't have as many, which I understand it is a business. But when you hold a contest and say you have looked at everyone's video, that is a lie especially if you haven't. That's a complete lie. And it's a shame because it's something that we are all looking for every single year to do. And I'm always like, okay, I have to work better. I have to do this. But I mean, I can't ever work any better than what I've done if you don't even give me a shot by looking at one of my videos. I think that is absurd, it's ridiculous, and it's upsetting. It really is. So I figured I would make this video, and I don't even make a lot of rant videos, but I, I would make this video because maybe the CEO or president of NYX doesn't know what's going on, so I want to make sure that they are aware of what's going on in this contest because it's making their name look bad. So I wanted to also make this video for the smaller YouTubers because I know how hard it is when you only have a certain set um, of subscribers, but there's this huge like contest and you don't get through so you feel really disappointed So um, just look through your thing. Maybe they haven't even bothered to look at yours So don't feel as if it's something wrong on your part 
because maybe they haven't even given you a chance to begin with. Lastly, by making this video, maybe this will help to change around the Next Face Awards for next year. Maybe the people that are doing it, they'll switch around and actually have people that will take the time to sit down and watch people's videos because we are taking the time to sit down and create them. We're taking a lot of our own personal time without getting paid for this, just doing this to promote and just to get into a contest that we are really interested in Already, I love your products. I love NYX products. I use them forever. So basically, maybe you guys will change it around to make it so next year it could be a more of an honest competition, maybe. And I don't even care if everyone who was in the contest had over 200,000 subscribers. Because let me tell you something, there are some people with that many subscribers who are amazing at what they do. But unless you give everyone a fair shot by looking at every video, then it's not a fair contest. So I hope you guys get what I'm saying. I'm like literally going off the top of my head, but I wanted to get that out there because it's just so upsetting. Like I think about it and I get upset. Like you didn't even bother to give me a chance. That's what's really upsetting about it. So um, next year I know I'm not even going to have to create a video because I can actually submit the other three that they haven't looked at. Um, and also I'm just hoping that through this video it will be aware to NYX that um, we know that not all the videos are looked at. So maybe you can actually hire a few people for that little time to look at their videos. So yeah, that's basically it. As I said, I barely have time to make this video as well as putting up all the other videos. I have to make time in my schedule, which is fine. I know that's how YouTube works, but you obviously hear my kids and um, I'm gonna have to go. But basically that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to let everyone become aware of it. And just keep watching this video and I'll show you guys how to check your own analytics to see if they have even bothered to watch your videos at all. So yeah, um, that's about it. As I said before, this isn't a rant. Just fix what you're doing next because it's not cute and um, it's not fair. So yeah, that's it. Um, thanks guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so to basically start this off, you're going to go to your analytics, and then on the left-hand side, you're going to click Playback Locations. That should be underneath your analytics. Once you've put in the analytics at the top, it should say a search for video, and I put in my um, Pocahontas one, and it's just showing a lifetime view, so basically as long as it's been up. And if you see, the only people that have looked at mine is Beautylish, Facebook, and Bing. So yeah, it obviously shows that it wasn't looked at by the Nick Space Awards. So then you'll put in the next video. Then you're going to put in the next video. And I believe the next one I chose was the flower one. So you just type it in the search button and then it should come right up. And then I'm just going to click on it and scroll down. And it should also make sure it's on lifetime as well. And then um, once I'm down there, I only see that it's Google Plus, Limelight Extensions, and Twitter that have viewed it. So moving on to the next one, I'm going to show you my most recent video and that is Saw. So I'm going to put that again in the search engine. So I'm going to type Saw and it should come right up and once you click on the video it will also show you the bottom. And the only thing that is showed for Saw is, um, and also make sure it's on Lifetime. The only one it has showed for Saw is Google+. And they obviously are in my circles for Google+. So they did not watch my latest video. Now I'm going to show you the very first one I did back in 2012. And that was the Simply Stunning Red Carpet Makeup Tutorial, I believe it was. I just started out. It was kind of brand new. Getting used to it. But um, yeah, this is the very first video. And if you look at the bottom, mind you, it's on a Lifetime. So it's all the views ever. Um, if you look at it at the bottom, that is where you will see Nick's Face Awards. Out of all the four years, that is the only time that they have watched my video. So how are you going to judge someone's makeup on something that has been done four years ago? Crazy. And mine doesn't have any seconds watched, but hopefully it's better for you guys. Um, I hope this helped, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.